welcome to your July monthly peace package. Holla at your boy. This is a Patreon exclusive tarot and oracle forecast. For those of you who are Patreon members of the exclusive tarot and oracle forecast, this is like that, but we go down through every zodiac sign as opposed to just a general insight. So what I've decided to do was to uh, clip the general cards that I pull and to share them with the YouTube community. So some of you might be on YouTube watching this. Please know that it is a part of a much more in-depth video. So, you know, if you want to join the Patreon fam, link in the description box below. And being that this is the first time I'm doing this, I'm going to explain how it's done. As you can see, I'm releasing this on the 17th. Normally, these will come out like the first day of the month. I just took a while to take this to kind of get this out. But uh, especially for those of you who are Patreon members, you can fully expect this at the beginning of the month. The other two tiers will come out near the end because they're transit based. So the, the exclusive tarot forecast is based on the Zodiac season and the monthly transit forecast is based on the season. So I'm going to do those at the end of the month when the actual season starts but these i'm going to do at the beginning of the month because they're based on just the gregorian calendar months okay so the way these will work i'm going to pull past present future spreads i'm going to pull a extra card for career breakthrough y'all look i'm going in this is lit i feel good doing this this is this is going to be really dope um and you know feel free to share your feedback in the comments about how accurate this is then i'm going to pull an oracle card then I'm going to pull a romance oracle card and uh, yeah, we'll go down through the rest of the signs. Word of caution, you are welcome to watch the zodiac sign for your sun, moon and rising. But the way I do this is all 12 signs are accurate for you. So you're not just getting the sign for your sun, which will denote how you'll be aware of the card's influences or your moon, which will denote how you feel or your rising, which will denote your personal perception as opposed to what you'll be aware of but these are like 13 special messages so every single sign you have a message you're getting 13 separate messages if you're a patreon exclusive if you're not i'm just going to give you the general so know that you have 12 houses moving forward i'm going to really push this more holistic view of astrology you're not just one zodiac sign you can have an empty chart in your sign and it is still relevant so keep that in mind Okay, because you have you are a multi-dimensional being. And with that being said, let's get into July. I think I'm gonna have the bottom card be the underlying theme and the career breakthrough tip. So let's get through it. Okay. Biggest message intuitively that I'm going to get is the same message that I got for Pisces on my monthly transit forecast. So for those of you who want to check that out, go check out Patreon. Uh, that'll be up shortly. And the message is love over hate, guys. Some of you are being periodically and psychologically messed with just to trigger you. And that is proof that the energy is trying to do that. At some point, acknowledge that you threaten them. All right, because there's always a psychological reasoning behind the, the, you know, what people do. So don't allow yourself to get triggered. You can respond not by loving people who hate you, but responding with love in your heart and not allowing yourself to devolve down to petty tactics. Some of you like me might have Mars and Aries and you'll trigger and get reacted, but just pull yourself back because it's not that deep, like at all. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to pull all these cards okay all right mind you this is for the month of july if you've never heard of august weaver or weather i totally totally bit that from fabulous um and yeah baby see i love pulling these oracle cards this is where things get fun fun okay so um the underlying theme that we have which also serves as career breakthrough is the seven of wands 
Stand your ground. This is one. This is my favorite card of the tarot. It's it, like I, I love the hermit. I love the magician. Right. The ace of swords is my favorite card. But this practically is my favorite card of the whole tarot. You may not know this, but you have the advantage. You are directly, especially this month, dealing with a political stance, a philosophical stance. You being you, where you are outnumbered by other people who may believe against what you believe or people who may just not necessarily agree with things like you agree. <gasps> but guess what? You have the advantage here. Who is over these people? Okay. Despite the overwhelming odds, if you decide to stand up for yourself and what you believe, you're actually going to gain more respect. Now, people like, we're not doing this for respect. The last thing we can care about is respect from people who don't acknowledge or understand us. But it's important that you know that just you being outnumbered on an issue is not grounds for you to just give up. You must stand up for what you believe. You must stand up for you. This is important. The reason why you have the advantage is because you know what you're talking about versus other people just reacting to you. So this is the card of victory and valor. OK, you're going to gain victory by standing up for yourself in these situations, opening the door for other people who want to do what you do. So important. Don't give up on you. That's really the and it applies to career too. anything that you're working on. Just keep working on. But this isn't that's more a persistence card like eight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands is saying to push forward your ideas. All right. And and it's a persistence in a sense where you're just not going to stop be believing in yourself because that's your ninja way. I should get my headband on. And so the past we have is the page of swords delineating ideas. Oh, this month is going to be lit. Um, this is like the first two weeks of July coming into new information, being spied on, probably lurking or spying yourself. And the present that we have is the temperance. Your life is coming into huge balance, especially for those of you, your life was out of balance. Well, now you have gotten rid of certain habits and you're replacing them with habits you want to do more of. This is going to put your life in great balance. You're creating something out of nothing. And guess what we're headed forward to? Luxury, baby. This is you pampering yourself. See all that money you made because you're disciplined. So congratulations. We're ending this month with racks. <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh so much. Okay, then we have trust. Vishnu is asking you to trust. Trust, and, and for some of you, you'll get an intuitive hit of what you should trust, but really just trust in your situation. Trust in you. Trust in where you're guiding your life. Trust in your spirit guides. It's very important to not feel like you have to have all the answers. Trust in the process, especially because the romantic insight we got for ya is a new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yep, that's it. I'm going to read the book for that one, too, because this one looks juicy. Especially for those of you who are still... Some of you are during the Mercury retrograde want to give your ex a chance or that toxic, you know, person a chance. You don't need to, boo. The romance angels have sent you this card like a Valentine greeting, signaling the introduction of someone new into your love life. Perhaps you've recently met this person. Your interest was piqued. This card validates that your connection was mutual and real. It is safe for you to explore it, and the romance angels will guide your actions accordingly. Of course, if you're already in a committed relationship, you'll want to consult your angels and perhaps a counselor or other trusted person to get insight into your feelings. While running into the arms of a suitor may sound passionate, the reality of guilt over the affair will soon weigh heavily upon you. It's better to confront the issues within your present relationship that left your emotional doors open for someone else. This card can also mean that you'll soon meet a new person. In these cases, the romance angels are asking you to keep the faith, trust, that love is in the cards. Literally. 
You deserve love and you're lovable. The angels guide you to be aware as you never know when your partner will arrive. So that's how we start the month off generally. Now we're going to go into the specific zodiac signs. Once again, all these messages apply to you. The overall general message, though, is clear. You are allowed to be you. You are allowed to be eccentrically you. It doesn't matter if what you do rubs someone else off the wrong way unless you are crossing their boundaries. If not, fuck them. Literally. Literally. Do not allow other people's opinions to get at you because this opposition will indirectly, passive aggressively and psychologically manipulate other people's ideas to, to assert that, whether through negative reinforcement to your activity or actions or not. And you can literally just like one up the competition by uncompromisingly believing yourself and being like, well, I'm going to do it anyway. Hair flip. So keep that in mind. We're going to go into the signs and stay tuned. Because after I'm done pulling for all 12 signs, I'm going to pull one more card from the Rumi Oracle deck for everyone, generally. So stay tuned. Once again, you are welcome to skip to your sign, but I really do recommend you watch and listen to every single sign because it all applies to you. So let's go to Aries, okay? Aries, what's up? What it is? How you doing? What you know about go getters and jet what setters? You know? Gun holding niggas that'll see what the tech get us. Piss down, bitters, nigga, play the kid herb. You can get rich or die like you deserve. Me, I'm in some fly, nigga, trying to swizz herbs. Money off the work or the nouns or the visers. If you got five cush, nigga, like the it herb. Puff that, pass that. Bitch coming through with an egg in the ass crack. Numbers like NASDAQ. The house and the condo look abstract. Every time I hit a blunt, I get a flashback. I'm that nigga, that nigga in mine. Tell nigga. your bitch, suck the dick, me and spit it fly. Said I quit selling bricks, but no quit in mine. Yeah, I'm in there, nigga. Oh, I'm out there, nigga. Shot shit, so work, I got clout there, nigga. Yeah. Hell, uh. Yeah. Whole cold mafioso. How we come through the dough, mafioso flow. And bitches counting dough, mafioso. How we roll, sitting low, mafioso flow. Jackal and high checks on the line, you better know.